Hey, what's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tour Reviews. Got a couple of deals for you at Home Depot, Lowe's, and Amazon. All right, starting off at Home Depot here, we've got a number of rigid deals right now. Um, it seems like DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Makita are pretty quiet right now. Uh, I've done a few walkthroughs at Home Depot recently, and there's really nothing new kind of going on. They're kind of doing that, you know, spring thing. But there's really no like you know do deals on like mowers or string trimmers or chainsaws or really anything uh, but right now rigid has a lot of stuff on sale nothing like too amazing that's on sale right now um they've got you know stuff marked off like 10 bucks 30 bucks you know it, a lot of it's like you know save 30 dollars on a lot of this stuff here so nothing's like too amazing but if you're in the rigid line it's worth taking a look at least see if you need anything you know it's like save 50 bucks on the uh, compact router right now um, 50 bucks on the jigsaw, stuff like that right now is kind of going on. Um, they also have another uh, $20 off the rigid 12-gallon uh, shop vac as well, too. So, you know, a couple of rigid deals right now. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, if you need, you know, a tool or one or tool there here and there, it's actually not a bad deal for a couple of the rigid deals. Uh, but they're nothing like, you know, absolutely amazing deals there. Um, I want to talk about this deal for a second here. I, I see this deal mentioned every once in a while. This happens all the time. Um, this thing really doesn't stay at the advertised $1,100 too much. It always goes fine. $500 off. This is all of the Milwaukee. Um, this is M18. It's not brushless. It's not fuel. And I get asked, you know, once in a while, hey, is this deal worth it? Um, no, it's really not worth the $600 here. Yeah, you're getting 10 tools in here, but this is all just, you know, the absolute lowest end Milwaukee tools. At least go brushless would be my opinion here. Um, you're getting, you know, cheaper batteries in here too, basic charger. And it's all brush tools. Nothing's, you know, newer. A lot of these tools are much older tools. They haven't updated in quite a while. And they're really not worth it. You could just buy the tools you need um, out of this kit here for a lot cheaper than spending the $600 on this kit here. So I would say at least go brushless. If, if you can, at least go fuel if you can. Um, but this deal for $600 for this 10 tool kit is not worth it. I mean, if it had maybe four or five amp hour batteries in it, I would say be worth it. But it's honestly not worth the $600 for that deal at all. All right, moving over to Amazon. A lot of DeWalt stuff. You know, there's always kind of DeWalt deals happening here and there. Um, and you can find better deals than you can at Home Depot sometimes, as long as you're making sure you're buying from, you know, DeWalt themselves, an authorized dealer. Uh, here's actually a pretty decent deal on two DeWalt uh, power stack batteries. This is the 1.7 amp hour batteries. Probably one of the best deals I've seen for just the two batteries alone for $95.99. And of course, that's going to be click next day air shipping, so that's not bad at all. Um, I'll quote the links in the description for these deals um, as well, too, if you want to check out some of these deals. But decent deal here on the power stack batteries. Probably one of the best I've seen, but again, 1.7 amp hour batteries. They aren't really that popular, but if you're using smaller tools and you want a bit more power, it's actually a great deal to pick up right here for power stack batteries. All right, here is a tool that's not really on sale. This tool, I would say, is super handy to have. I picked one up from Makita, and I'm using it uh, absolutely just a ton because it works in so many different scenarios where you'd want to use an angle grinder, but you can't really get the angle grinder into that little you know, that spot there. And uh, this is a little cutoff tool here from DeWalt. Um, 141 is one of the cheaper prices you're going to find for it. The Makita is more expensive. Um, don't buy the Milwaukee M12. It's a bit underpowered. But I'd say the DeWalt one, from what I've seen review-wise, seems to be the most balanced between price and performance. And uh, it's overall a pretty good buy at 141 I would say. It's one of those tools where you don't know how much you need it until you actually own it, is what I would definitely say there. All right, moving over to Metapo HPT. They've got a lot of stuff on here, but just want to kind of shout out this grinder here. This thing is always like $39 to $37. You get, um, I think, five discs here, a case. It's a quartered grinder, but it's really hard to beat that price point for that. And I think it's just a one-year warranty on that, but I heard a lot of people say that. That's just an amazing grinder for being so cheap. And if you don't really need the grinder that much, you just need some grinding wheels. I mean, $40, bucks, that's not a terrible deal for really what it is there. Uh, here's one tool I keep hearing about. It's not really a tool that I would need myself, but a lot of people do seem to like this one. Uh, this is going to be your torque screwdriver here, a little bit electric screwdriver. Um, of course, it's got some clutch settings. It's really designed for more fine working, like you're pulling apart, maybe like disassembling like a tool or dis disassembling something that's more fragile. Um, you want to get into some, uh, some bit of a tighter area there, so that's something to be aware of. 
And uh, $60, one of the cheaper options here from a lot of brands that make these is gonna be the Metabo HPT one at just $59. You get two batteries, it's an older style charger, you know, Metabo doesn't really support the 3.6 volt line really at all, other than really just this tool. So it's a cool tool to have, you really need it and you think you want it. Um, not only tool I would use myself, but really good deal at $60. So honestly, it's worth it if you really need it. So that's a pretty cool to tool to have there. All right, this tool has been going on sale here and there. I would say grab it when it goes under like 190. Um, this is gonna be the Metal HPT's rear handle saw. Looks almost identical to the Makita version, uh, but of course you can use the 36 volt batteries on here and it's not as high priced as Makita XGT. So not a bad tool here. Lightweight, 8.2 pounds. I mean, that's still pretty heavy for a saw, but again, it's a rear handle saw. Those are always much bigger, much more powerful. So not a bad deal here. And then they do have the with battery and charger for just $248. Not a bad deal there because usually these batteries run like 200 bucks anyways. So a pretty solid deal here. AC adapter, I don't know why the AC adapters are staying so high priced. They really should do some more deals on those, kind of get those out there, but 323 for the tool with the AC adapter. So not bad there. Uh, moving on to, this is gonna be their I guess mid-range brushless grinder here from Metabo. Um, it's kind of always been at like $94, $99 for the most part. I've never really seen it go up to like $150 for too long. Um, I've got this tool. I think it works great. If you don't mind the paddle switch, which it is a little annoying. I kind of wish I just had a lock switch. It'd be a lot nicer, but for $94, it's not a bad tool. It's done everything I needed to do. Um, not a huge fan of the kind of, you know, auto mode on it. It, it slows down. When it senses you need more power, it picks up, but it's got like a one to three second delay. So you're like, why am I not getting enough power? And then it kind of kicks on the power and you're like, okay, there we go. Uh, I wish it kind of just went, you know, either it went full power or it had like some nice adjustable modes, like, like a one through four switch. I think it would be a little bit better than the automatic power switch there. All right, so we also have, I should just cover that one. <clears throat> we also have Makita and they've got a couple of tools here. Um, that are on Amazon that I found, which is interesting, this is actually not a Makita tool, but this is actually going to be a knockoff that's using Makita batteries. Um, <clears throat> this is a handheld spreader for like grass seed, fertilizer, and salt. Um, no reviews on this thing, but it's very interesting to see this kind of tool being out here that, you know, Makita hasn't either thought of or hasn't even decided to make yet. Uh, but $83, I've not tried this myself, uh, not with this brand or anything, but 83 bucks for this tool, kind of a cool tool I just found while I was looking around at some Makita tools here. There's a lot of cool stuff out there that uses, you know, DeWalt or Makita batteries that then you can uh, get some tools that really no one makes, but if you need it, it's pretty cool to have. And of course you're not paying, you know, if Makita made this tool, it'd be like $300. <laughs> That's just how Makita works there. So kind of funny, but very cool tool to see, you know, 8,000 square feet. I wonder how true that actually is, but very, very cool there from another brand. All right, here is that high speed inflator slash blower. Uh, this is gonna be a basically high air speed but low volume blower. Um, these tools seem to be taken off quite a bit. I see a lot of like HVAC guys using these. I've seen this quite online quite a bit for blowing out like coils and stuff. Um, I really wanna pick one up, but I don't wanna spend, you know, $200. At 170, it's getting to a better price. But again, though, I'm hoping these things will come down in price here pretty soon. So honestly, 170, if you're gonna use it every single day, probably worth it there. But again, you know, very expensive tool, but very cool tool. Here's a Makita tool that actually is surprisingly cheap. Um, the older versions like the XPH uh, 12 are like over hundred bucks still. The XPH 14, for some reason, is staying at like 94 bucks, uh, which this is actually a fantastic hammer drill. A little heavy, I will say but overall fantastic hammer drill from Makita. And the fact that you can get it for under, you know, $100 is pretty amazing. And of course, uh, this is from the Makita store here. Um, it is shipped and sold by not Makita, but I'm sure it's a Makita authorized reseller. Again, though, pretty good deal on a pretty good tool that you did this tool is I think like 180, 190 for retail. So a little expensive there. All right, moving on to Lowe's. Uh, we've got a Craftsman V20 battery. Um, 80 bucks off. I don't know if this is actually 120 for quite a while, but $40. I'm not sure if they're trying to clearance these four amp hour Craftsman batteries out, but you know, this was their free tool. Whenever you bought like some Craftsman stuff, they had like get a free four amp hour battery for quite a while. 
uh, but they're really kind of pushing out some of these batteries. You know, $40 for 400 power battery, that's pretty good deal if you're in the craftsman line, especially in some of the outdoor power tools. That is really awesome there. Uh, here we go with a Bosch a half inch square drive cordless impact wrench. I believe this is like their either compact or mid torque here. Uh, looks like it's 330 foot pounds of fastening torque and 590 of breakaway torque. So not really breaking any, you know, speed or torque records here, but it comes with a free four amp hour uh, battery and charger kit. So honestly, not a terrible deal if you're in the Bosch line, you want to get an extra battery, extra charger, or you just need, you know, an impact wrench to kind of throw in your truck and you're good to go. And you actually want a decent quality impact wrench. There's an, there's an excellent option for you at Lowe's. All right, finally, one really good deal, and Cobalt really leads this deal here. They seem like they really compete against Rigid pretty heavily, which, of course, that's kind of their, you know, opposite side there is Rigid. A 209, um, which is actually a phenomenal deal. This is actually a five-tool combo kit here, and this is brushless. You know, like I said, with some of the Milwaukee stuff not being brushless, you want to at least go for brushless tools nowadays. Uh, looks like we have a radio, a circular saw, impact wrench. You get a light, which I don't like to count as a tool. You know, that's kind of just like a, a throw-in tool. You know, like, oh, I'll throw extra light in there. That's $20. You know, that counts as a tool. I don't like to count it as a tool, really, myself. And then, of course, you also get a drill in there, too. One battery, one charger, and looks like you also get a nice case. So, 209, not a bad deal there. And guys, this is all I've got for you right now. Unfortunately, we're not seeing much other new tool deals happening. Um, I kind of missed the years prior when we were kind of getting every month. It would be something new from Makita, Milwaukee, DeWalt, Rigid, Cobalt. But right now, we're not seeing a whole lot. Hopefully, as we get into summer, we're going to see some more outdoor power tool deals. Really hoping to see that. But guys, I'll put the links in the description for the Amazon stuff. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a great day. And stay safe out there.